Welcome to this series of webinars and tutorials on the Zultus line of business phone systems. This tutorial will be about a number of different preference settings. You access preferences by going to the file menu or on the Macintosh, the application menu and select preferences. So the first preference we're going to talk about here is audio drivers. We actually have a couple of different places in preferences for audio. This audio driver up here in preference has to do with where you're going to send voicemail and sound notifications. So you can use the system default or you can specify if you have headsets or speakers here. You can do that with the computer and the same thing for recording your voicemails. This is when you're recording voicemails inside of Mixi itself. And so maybe you've got a headset you want to use because microphones on computers are usually not terrific. You can use the system default, but it's actually probably easier to specify right here in Mixi. We're going to use the Plantronics here. So when I want to record a voicemail message using Mixi, I can just use the Plantronics headset. And playing voicemails and sound notifications probably through your computer speakers, probably why leaving it through the system default is fine. But again, you can specify something else. The other audio parameter is down in the soft phone setting. So the soft phone setting here, in general, you're not really going to change most of these. Uh, the one thing you might want to do is if you're using soft phone, you can enable auto answer. So if you check these boxes, that way you don't have to click answer on Mixi to answer an incoming call. But audio parameters are probably where you're going to want to customize this. And if you have a headset, we can say, where are we going to play the, rec the received audio when you're on a phone call? This is where I'm going to set my received audio. In other words, this is where I'm going to hear the other person. So I can use the system default, but I, it's actually easier just to specify the particular device you want. So I'm going to go ahead and select the Plantronics headset that I'm using here. Same thing for ringtone. I can select the Plantronics headset and I have some other choices and I can do that for the microphone as well. So now when I set this for the soft phone in Mixi, I'm going to be using that audio device, assuming it's connected. So presence is down here in the list. And where you might want to change the present settings is some of these might be a little short. So if you don't have uh, activity, the default is for five minutes of activity, it's going to change your presence to be right back. That might be fine. But that's computer activity. You may want to set that up a little bit higher. And the same thing here, we're changing you to not available. So the short term here is just setting you to be right back. If you're longer, it's going to set your presence there. And you can set a wrap time if you are, want to enable that. You can also restrict the people who can view your presence. Most people don't need that restricted, but they can go so they'll select all, which is the default. But you can also set uh, your buddies or individual people. That way you can allow who is going to see your presence. Notifications. And so this would be, let's say you wanted to have voicemails sent to email. This is a way that you can do this. So we'll just go ahead and click on notifications, go to new, voicemail to email. You can have it each time you receive a new message. You're going to notify me. You click here and you can either notify with a phone call or an email. We'll go ahead and specify email. You can put in the address for me. And you have up to six addresses there, comma separated. And you probably want to attach the message. Otherwise, you'll just get a notification that there was one left, which might be useful. Uh, and then you can either leave the message marked as unread on the phone system, or you can mark the message as saved or read on the phone system, or you can even delete the message from the mailbox on the phone system. So this gives you flexibility. Now that you're going to send this to email, what do you want to do with the indications in the phone system? So again, you can leave the message marked as unread. Uh, you can mark the message as read or saved, or you could delete the message completely from the phone system, and now you have it. Uh, in your email. And we can select different media types. So we can select message media. Uh, could be message media here is voicemail or fax. 
you can even specify who the message is from or message is older than or et cetera. So you can have other conditions here. And so now when you go ahead and click OK, it's going to forward it to voicemail and it's go ahead and click apply. So there are obviously other preference settings here that we can set, uh, but these are probably the most important ones that uh, you're going to want to work with. So now I have saved my preference settings and I'm ready to continue to use Mixi. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Check out our other tutorials at Zeltus.com.